Here we'll go over what the components are on the inside of the lid of the controller. You've got your relay or your power circuitry, and this is your sensors up here. The screen's on the other side of it. So overall power down here, sensors up there. I think the first thing to remember, and I'll go over each of these items. These are the circuit breakers. Those will trip if something takes too much electricity, or they'll trip if they get more electricity through than the rating. And you can see here there's a five for five amps. So you gotta pay attention to that. Down here is where your stuff hooks up. Um, your, if you have low voltage motors, they hook up here. If you have fans, soakers, other kind of things, you can, um, they'll hook up in different arrangements. And these yellow cubes are the relays. They have overrides on them. You can mechanically, you can mechanically test things by pressing on the little green button and it actually sends electric out or it doesn't even have to rely on the controller to do it because you're manually moving the contact. So overall, that was a relay board, circuit breakers, relays. Here's where you connect to them. Up here is the sensors. Uh, your weather, it'll say temperature sensor one, temperature sensor two. Your wind, your weather station, your wind sensor connects there. It's, we have labeled matching terminals on the wind sensor as in here. Rain sensor, matching ones as well for that. It makes it really easy. This sensor right here is your amps. So we're, when, when you're monitoring the curtain motor load, all you have to do is bring the power wire in through there. We have that pre-wired for low voltage motors. You order the system with uh, what you want connected. We'll go through and label where it's connected and preset all this up so that you have a fully functional system right from the get-go. So overall, this is your sensors up here, temperature, temperature, wind, rain, your amp sensor. And this little block here is a solid state. That's part of your curtain motor power supply. In the back end of the box, we'll go over the components in there. The vast majority of this is related to low voltage, 24 volt motor curtain supply. You can get this without the low voltage motor components if you're wanting to run 110, 220, or three phase motors. So overall, I'll go over this here. Um, this big thing is your low, this is a transformer that cuts the power down to 24 volts for low voltage motors. So it can be ordered with or without that. This little block right here, it's a bridge rectifier that converts it to DC. And if that thing goes out, you it'll blow these breakers. So right here, we got a breaker. This is a 20 and a 5, and you reset them from the outside of the box. So overall, their, their necks are sticking through. So you so you got your circuit breakers, the rectifier, the little power supply here. So those are your main components in the back. If you get a unit set up for... 240 volt motors, the only thing you're going to have is this, this guy and this terminal block. 